five. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You playing some music? No, turn it off, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Welcome to Girls Night In. Here we are. Hey, another Saturday. <laughs> it is Fun with Fragrances Night. Welcome, welcome. Great. Welcome to those people that are joining us out there in Cyberland. We're glad to have you. My name is Tracy Hill Fisher. I'm an independent sales director with Mary Kay. Underneath me is the beautiful one of Juanita. Hey, everybody. Yeah, and to the side of me is beautiful Robin, all the way from uh, Glen Heights, Texas. Woo-hoo. And then underneath yeah. her is Janet Habersham, yeah. whose birthday happens to be today. Let's just say yeah. happy birthday. And then next to Robin is Christine, the beautiful Christine, elegant, gorgeous, Christ-loving Christine. And then underneath Christine is the beautiful Tashana Granby. Y'all say hello tonight. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. And I think we're going to have one more person joining us, so maybe a little later. Um, but thanks for being here with us. Um, we are glad to have you. Hey, Diane, thanks for joining in. We'll wait a few more minutes to see if anybody else joins on in. But you all know what we do. You know how we do it. We like to say thanks for joining. Welcome to the party. We hope you brought your favorite beverage with you. Did you guys bring something? I brought, um, I brought water tonight. But okay. our goal is to water for now. You. Yes, water yes. for you too. Our goal is to simply bring you some joy. We want to. Um, we know we are still in um, the state that we are in, in with COVID, and we want to just get, take a break. Just take a break and do something different than looking at the TV. I tell you, I have watched so much television in my entire life. I have not watched so as much TV. Uh, maybe if I exercised as much as I watch television, I'd be, <laughs> but not so, not so. So if you brought a drink with us, go ahead and drop a drink emoji into the chat. So we know that you are sharing in with us and we just want to know if we share anything that you like, just give us a thumbs up or give us some comments so that we know that you're enjoying, um, join, join us tonight. Yep. Diane says she's drinking. Oh, egg 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 egg. Egg. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and of course, you know that your comments, of course, get you entered into our um, drawing. Comments and questions get, get you entered into our drawing. So give a shout out to the person that invited you. We're glad you're here. We're going to get started in just a few minutes. Give folks a few more minutes to kind of jump on in. I see the numbers ticking up little by little by little. And I see that Terilyn has jumped on in, and if I add her in, one of you is going to go away, and I don't know who that's going to be. Oh, no. It did get oh. awesome. Okay, cool. Yay! That's the beautiful Terilyn. Taylor there. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome tonight. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes. How was your, how was your, um, sorry. Who was that? Nobody. That was you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, who's that? <laughs> Tell me, um, when did I miss you, Terrell? I hadn't seen you. Where oh, last you? last week I um, sponsored a pajama uh, movie night for my son's class. So oh, we. That's right. That's right. That's we right. A, we had a nice little time watching uh, Jingle Jangle and Hot Chocolate and all of oh, that. Oh, how was that? How was that? Oh, it's so good. It's so was good. Was it? I'm going to I'm gonna wait till um, closer to Christmas to watch it. I sure oh, am. I'm gonna wait till why? We've to seen it three watch. times. Go ahead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> go away. Go away. Life is short. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. So I want to take a quick minute to remind everybody to, if you haven't done the Skin Analyzer app, so that your consultant can give you a good, thorough skin analysis um, and a professional recommendation on what would be best for your skin. Go ahead and do that. You can download it from the app, from your app store, from the Google Play Store, and then send the results to her. And I guarantee you, once you do that, she will give you a gift for sharing those results 
um, with her. So we are, oh my gosh, how many days till Christmas, y'all? It's like a week and some days. A week like and some days. days. Yes, a week oh, and some days. days. Well, just so that you know, it is not too late to continue your shopping. Have y'all finished your Christmas shopping? In my mind, I have. <laughs> Well. So I'm in business for myself. I shop from my own store. That's why I say it's in my mind. I know what you're getting in my mind. From a store, yes. I got it in my mind. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I got a few more gifts to buy for the buy for the men in my family, but I think I've I've uh, so I'm about halfway done. I'm about halfway done. Sweet. I'm about halfway done. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So, but we're tonight we're talking about all about fragrances, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we know that uh, fragrances make a great, great gift um, for the holidays, whether for yourself or for that someone special. Um, for everybody in the family, we've got something that will will work for everyone in the family. So we're going to talk a little bit about. I'm going to share a little bit about. Um, fragrances a bit here and y'all y'all pray that this works right because uh okay what happened to the thing okay here we go um that it works y'all let me know that you can see this can everybody see the th the chart i'm showing yes good great yay no, it worked this week. oh there we go okay all right now. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk real quick about uh, fragrances and such. So, yep, that's what we're here to talk about, and um, how to find the perfect fragrance. So, some of you may not. Well, we're gonna play a game a little while in a little while. Um, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I don't want you googling nothing. But okay. So <laughs> how to choose the perfect fragrance? Um, so are you a romantic or do you prefer an exotic or a mysterious fragrance? Do you want your fragrance to make a difference on impression when you leave the room? I know when I walk by, I want I want it to like linger. I don't want it to hit somebody in the face, but I want it to just like creep up on them. And then as I pass by, I want them to to um, to say, mm, what was that or who was that? Mm -hmm. So you've got several um, families of fragrances. So you've got, sorry, this thing keeps moving. We've got um, floral, you've got oriental, citrus, fruity, leathery, um, musk, and woody. And Tashawn, I think you need to turn your phone down again because I keep hearing, um, thank you, ma'am. I was, okay. I was, I'm sorry, I was on mute, so I know. Oh, it wasn't you? Okay, all right, somebody else then. Okay, no problem. All right. So then you've got, uh, so that's the family. So what is the fragrance family? What is the, the um, basis of the fragrance that you're, that you're smelling or that you're wearing? And then you've got your notes. Um, so the top notes are considered like the first impression or the initial impact of the scent when someone's uh, receives it. And then the middle notes is what we call the heart of the fragrance. And it kind of unfolds and develops after the fragrance is applied to the skin. And have you guys ever noticed when you wear a fragrance, it sits for a minute and then you kind of get a little different scent with it than when you first applied it, right? So that's the middle notes. And then the bottom notes, that's the lasting impression, the thing that emerges that brings depth and harmony um, to the fragrance um, and leaving each wearer with a unique scent and the final stage. And so your mood could be sophisticated or confident. It could be romantic. It could be thoughtful. It could be fun and casual. It could be adventurous and spirited. And then you've got your various applications of the fragrance, which could be eau de toilette, eau de parfum, or cologne, or even mist, right? And I'll explain what those are a little more. Um, and then, so how do you find the perfect fragrance for someone else? Um, how do you find the perfect fragrance for yourself? You know, you guys, when you, when it's your time to share, I would love for you to tell us how you find the perfect fragrance for yourself. Do you base it on how it smells? Do you base it on how it makes you feel? Um, are you drawn more to fruity scents? Um, what makes you decide 
um, what to wear because fragrance really is personal, you know, and choosing a fragrance for a friend or even for yourself is something that can be a little overwhelming because you're just not sure if it's going to work or if they're going to like it. Right. So um, one of the things that you can do is to have clues from the person um, cues. What do they like? What is their mood? What type of person are they? And that usually can help you decide what fragrance family to choose for them. Um, just be thoughtful. Be thoughtful when you're um, applying, when you're picking out a fragrance. And there's some good do's and don'ts and extenders for your perfume or your perfume. Um, apply it on your pulse points. Consider the weather. If it's cold, the fragrance will need to be renewed every three hours or so. Did you guys know that? In warmer climates, the scent will last much longer. Experiment. Um, fragrance is a form of self-expression. And it can match your mood or it can set a whole new tone. So try a variety of scents for different occasions and moods and sample on your wrist. It takes time for a fragrance to develop through each of its notes. And because your body chemistry is unique um, to you, the same perfume may smell slightly different or completely different than it does on your friend, right? Body chemistry is so important. Don't rub your wrist together. Don't store the scents in your bathroom. Fragrance can change um, as they age or the chemistry, and it's not uh, protected from the sun, the heat, or the humidity. Be sure to store the bottles out of direct sunlight and avoid high humidity. Do not apply too many different scents and do not spritz after you dress. Some fragrances can stain fabrics and metals and definitely pearls. Spritz your fragrance um, before you get dressed and allow it to react to your skin and body chemistry to fully blossom. Some extenders, apply lotion before your fragrance. This fragrance will last longer on your skin when your skin is well moisturized. Applying a light scented body lotion after you shower will help your scent last much longer. Layer products from the same line. I love doing that, right? So use the shower gel, use the lotion, and then use the fragrance. And that is going to extend the scent of the fragrance for many, many more hours. Choose a perfume type that will last a long time. And we'll talk about that and reapply throughout the day. As a general rule, fragrances will last four to eight hours, depending on the quality and the concentration of the essential oils. Did y'all find that in, in, informative? Most fragrances, undergo, most fragrances undergo well over 50 adjustments and alterations before they are introduced to the public. You can become accustomed to your own signature fragrance and can only smell it when it's first applied or when you pay special attention to it. So remember, a couple of spritzes is all you need, even when you don't detect a scent. You Never want to overdo it. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that video. So let me talk real quick about the differences. This is super, super important. I learned a lot when I was doing my little research here on um, perfumes. So perfumes, um, basically a fragrance is made up of oil, one part, some part oil, some part alcohol. And depending on the concentration of the oil, the essential oil or the oils in the uh, con Fragrance determines whether it is a parfum or perfume, an eau de parfum, an eau de toilette, an eau de cologne, or an eau de frache, which is basically just like a mist. Okay, so at the, at the lightest scent, your mist would be your aftershave or your spray, a body spray. The concentration of oils in that is one to two percent, and it's going to last you two to four hours. The next would be a cologne. And that concentration is like 2 to 5%. It's usually marketed to men, but it, it's also a perfect pick for both men and women who want something that's light and fresh. And then you have your toilette. This is the most popular concentration among fragrances for men. Uh, it is a great choice if you're going from something light and less complex. And it's going to last you for 6 to 10 hours. It's the perfect way to try a new perfume, but you, you don't want to invest in it in something right away because of course the more the higher the concentration the more expensive the product is right and then the next is your perfume your eau de perfume it's lighter than a perfume but still has the magic to give you a long lasting scent it's going to last you 8 to 12 hours it's a very popular concentration among women and niche fragrances like 
Chanel and other fragrances like that. And then you have your perfume, which has the greatest concentration of essential oil, usually 20 to 30%. It will last about 12 hours. This is recommended for people that want an even richer and more complex perfume that can last all day long. All right. So the higher the concentration, the more it's going to cost. Okay. Can y'all believe that? Let me exit out here. Wasn't that informative? I, I know, I know. I just gave y'all a lesson in fragrance. You guys are muted. That's I can't right. hear you. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Absolutely. Yes, you did. All right. yes, you did. Glad you liked it. So now we're ready to get down to the nitty gritty. So let me get. Uh, let me just ask you guys: What do you normally prefer? What do y'all prefer? Um, hey, Pearl. Welcome. I don't know. I like oh, layering I like my it. head, so I like using the body wash and the lotion and then the spray. I like layering. And mm -hmm. then I'm not really a, a fruity girl. It has to be something that I really like would be fruity. But I like, I don't even know what you would call it because I like the cityscape. I had that on this arm. So it's like a light oriental type of, okay. I guess. Okay. I'm a, so like oriental, I'm a, oriental a floor shape. person. Yeah, like a floor. I think I like flowers, orchards, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. White tea, citrus, or something. I think I'm a floral person. Okay. Anybody else? What do you think you like? I know for me, I like um, a long, smooth fragrance, a fragrance that lasts like a rose. And mm -hmm. I've always been an advocate for that fragrance. And I'm aging myself when I say it tea rose, if you remember that fragrance. Mm -hmm. And when they came out with that one mm. fragrance, I said, okay, I love flowers. So mm. I'm more prone to using what I'm trying to say. It. I will do the body wash. I will do the, not so much the lotion. I noticed that doesn't have a more of an effect for me on my skin, mm -hmm. but the body cream. Mm -hmm. And then I'll layer it with the perfume. And I'm really careful about where I apply it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? What do you like? What do you you like? Something light, something heavy, woody, oriental. Yeah. Personally, I like mm -hmm. a fruity light sense. I'm usually around people who mm -hmm. have a sensitivity mm -hmm. to smells. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, I don't wear heavy scent, but I like something that's light. Fresh. Okay. okay and a good. Fruit right. I would love it. to hear what some of you that are watching, what you like. Go on and drop it in there and let us know. Do you like oriental? Do you like fruity, woodsy, musky? What kind of scent do you like? Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with our first fragrance of the of the evening, and that is going to be our live fearlessly. So let me tell you all about. Live fearlessly. This beautiful isn't that a pretty bottle there? Do y'all like that? Live fearlessly. It's one of our newer fragrances. It came out what a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Let me just explain to you what um, our company tells you about it. Every day, you show the world how fearless you are, confidently embracing life and all its possibilities. Always stay true to yourself and what you believe in. It celebrates your fearlessness. See the beauty in your strength and tell your story. All right. So this particular fragrance, every fragrance, of course, has a story and um, talks about itself. This family, the aromatic family is considered floral woody, okay? And um, the top notes are Italian bergamot, ginger, and lush petals. The heart of the fragrance is a bold rose, lily of the valley, and orchid. And the lasting impression is sustainable, roasted tonka bean, cedarwood, Australian sandalwood, and vanilla musk. And this is considered an eau de parfum. So a perfume, middle-sized concentration. So it's gonna last you about eight hours, the scent will. Okay, get excited about that. That is our Live Fearlessly fragrance. Okay, I am now gonna turn it over to, oh, and it retails for 44. 
Retails for $44. Makes a great gift. The bot the box, the bottle is beautiful. And I'm gonna turn it over to the beautiful Robin, who is going to share with us about thinking of love and Bella Bellera. Okay. Here's the thinking of love. I took it out the box. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Okay. So the the perfume says, "Falling in love is the inspiration of the fragrances opening. Being in love is the inspiration." Can you hear me? We yes. hear Being in love is the inspiration for the heart of the fragrance. Living is in love is inspiration for the base of the fragrance. Okay. Hold on a second. And in one breath, the notes of a fragrance can evoke a memory. That first date, the first time you said I love you, and the special moments you've shared ever since. Okay. Any questions? What are the notes on the fragrance? What does it smell like? Oh, I'm sorry. Fall in love with the sunny citrus and fruity floral top notes of sparkling mandarin, bale oh. and spring freesia. Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. And, and so it has a um, it has a cute charm on it. If you want to mention that, um, the bottle itself has a charm that you can remove and place like on a bracelet or something. I just think that is so cute. So you get a little extra little goodie. Whoops! When you purchase this particular fragrance, mm -hmm. how much does it retail for? Uh, thirty eight. Don't quote me on that. I'm sorry, I forgot. I think it's thirty eight. Okay, let me just check to be sure. Yeah. I'm checking. I should know this. Thirty-two. It retails 32. for thirty-two. Okay, I was close. Thirty-two. And the next fragrance you have, Bella Bolera. This is the box. It comes in. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Bella Bolero. Feel beautiful like, wait, feel beautiful, be beautiful, Bella Bolero. Eau de Parfum is more like a fragrance. It's a beautiful feeling. The top note, mandarin, strawberry leaves, nectarine, apricot, cassis. I hope I said that right. The middle note is rose petals. Freesia, Lily of the Valley, and Ylang Jasmine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the bottom note is mm -hmm. Blown Woods, Sandalwood, Vetiver, Moss, Tolu, and Balsam. Okay, fun fact the combination of ingredients in a fragrance not only determines how it smells, but also its staying power on the skin. Different ingredients come into play in the fragrance of various stages of life on the skin. Perfumers distinguish between the various stages in three ways. The top note is the, in the, the initial impact of the fragrance. And these notes introduce the fragrance and can last up to 15 minutes. The mm -hmm. middle note of the heart of the fragrance unfolds and develops a um, few minutes after the perfume is applied to the skin. And the bottom note is the final impression and also the most lasting. It can last several hours after the fragrance is applied. And this retails for 38. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. Yeah, that was great. Great information. Great information. So if you are wondering what fragrances are similar to um, Bella Bolera. You would like Bella Bolera if you like Juicy Couture, Romance, Miracle, or Pleasures Intense. 
So it is considered a floral fruity fragrance. And if you like, um, and then for thinking of love, if you like Lancome Tresseur, Victoria by Victoria's Secret, Flower by Kenzo, Stella by Stella McCartney, or Cashmere Mist by Donna Karen, then you will love the Thinking of Love fragrance. And that one is considered a woody floral fragrance. And for Live Fearlessly, if you like, oh, both of those. So Live Fearlessly falls in woody floral um, along with Thinking of Love. So those same fragrance families with the vanilla, the freesia, the violet rose, and the honeysuckle. If you like um, those other brand fragrances, then you'll love those two in our product line as well. Okay, so I'm about to turn it over to, to Shauna Gramby. She's going to talk about Cityscape. And um, Diane had a good question here. She said that she's right now, she's in love with the um, Chase the Rainbow body wash, lotion, and, and mist spray. And um, she wanted wondered if that was floral or oriental. Do you guys know? I can look it up right quick. Anybody know off the top of their head? No, I've never, I've never smelled Chase the Rainbow before. I've... It was one of our uh, limited edition oh. sets. And um, it says... Uh, it is a fruity floral blend of crisp pear and mango. Mm. Mm, that's a nice, nice combination. Mm -hmm. Crisp pear and mango. So yes, fruity floral. Um, the top notes are watery melon, crispy pear and mango. The heart or the middle is jasmine. And the finish is violet leaves, amber and blue musk. There you go. All right. That's the chase the rainbow. Thank you for that. Tashana, you ready? Yes, as ready as I'm going to be. Okay, here you go, lady. It's all you. It's all you. All righty. Well, this one is the City Skate for Men. I'm going to take them both out and show you the bottle because I love them. They complement each other so, so nicely. So if you're looking for a couple set, this would be the set to go to. This is the City Skate for Women. And first, I'm going to talk about the cityscape for men. Something new is on the horizon. Behind every door and around every corner is a new experience waiting. All you need, a dream, a destination, and a desire to get there. The first impression, Italian bergamot, French vanilla, and pepper. The heart of the fragrance, geranium oil, Egyptian on pure, orange flower, whiskey barrel accord. And the lasting impression is cedar wood, sandalwood, Pachillo oil, Indonesia on pure, Vetera, amber, Mediterranean rock rose. Fact, most men wear fragrance as the ultimate accessory, a finishing touch like their cufflinks or tie pin. Without without it, without it, the look is no longer complete. And that is the MK men's cityscape. And I just love how it looks like a actual building almost. So if you put these two together on your nightstand, you are good to go. Next we have the cityscape eau de perfume for the women. The perfumer says. It was inspired by the distinct beauty of the Fantamia orchard. It is the ultimate signal of sophistication since you can only appreciate its beauty in a specific moment during the night. The top notes are bergamot, pink pepper, red currant, apricot violet leaves. The middle note is Fantamia orchard, Centrec, orange flower, absolute, Pannoni and Florentine Oris. The bottom notes are sandalwood, desmond plum, sustainable vanilla beans from Mad Madagascar Ampure, Angelica mm. and Amber. Facts, scents arise. So start spritzing at your ankles, move to the back of your knees or your wrists, then the nape of your neck 
or behind your ears. And for a final touch, spritz it with a comb and run it through your hair. I have on the Cityscape for Women because, as I said, I love the way this smells. And they are a perfect complement to each other. So if you're looking for a cute little set for a duo, and they both retail for $50 each. So that is Cityscape for Men and the Cityscape for Women. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. You guys ready for a game? I'm not ready for Yes. Ready for a, a, a question, a game. We'll call it a game, a question. So how long or how old do you think, uh, where, well, two questions. Where did perfumes originate? I need some music. What do you guys think? Where did perfumes originate? Mm, the Middle East or Africa? Okay. I was gonna go with Paris. I was gonna go with Paris, France. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, you want somebody watching? Want to guess? Are you asking the guests? Oh, asking or everyone. Us? I'm, I'm going to try somewhere in, in the Orient. <laughs> somewhere in the Orient. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say the Orient, okay. too. Okay. <laughs> well, anybody else? I'm going to give people a, a chance to... Uh, the Orient or the Asia somewhere. <laughs> Diane said Egypt. She sure did say Egypt. And guess what? She's right. Oh, you got it. Wow. <laughs> I said Africa. You know what? People keep forgetting that Egypt is in Africa. Yes, Africa. Egypt is in Africa. Yes. Yes. Say it, sister. Say it. Say it. We're responsible for the origin of perfume. They utilize scents in everything from religious ceremonies to burial preparations and even daily wear. The rich elites of Egyptian society, male and female alike, would adorn themselves with aromas like lily to denote their status. The Persians, okay, so it was the Egyptians and then the Persians, took over the use of perf perfumes as a sign of political status. But it wasn't until the Greeks and the Romans became acquainted with it that it began to be viewed as a form of art and produced in mass quantity. There you go. So we started in Africa, as with most things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one up is going to be high intensity, and that would be me. High intensity is one of our men's fragrances. Um, so let me spotlight myself here. High intensity is one of our men's fragrances. Uh oh, how do I get to myself? There we go. All right, spotlighting myself. This is one of our very popular men's fragrances. Um, it was the beginning of a collection of men's fragrances in the high intensity line. This is the original one. A couple of the ladies are going to be talking about the other two. But high intensity cologne spray is an ambery oriental. You'll find it's irres irresistible as the man that wears it. It's intriguing top notes of icy black fennel and silver sage are heightened by crushed coffee beans. The fragrance demands attention with notes of lively dianthus, Darjeeling black tea and dreamy violet leaves. A powerful masculinity reveals itself when a vintage suede accord merges from smoldering amber. Royal Kingwood, it's a Mary Kay exclusive fragrance and it has rich intensity. Yes, it does. The top notes are, the top notes that introduce this fragrance can last up to 15 minutes and it is considered an ambery oriental, as I mentioned, customers who buy this um, usually like let me see. What would you call it? Uh, let me just see. If you are a man that likes. Burberry, Stetson, Old Spice or Armani Code, then you will like this Ambery Oriental Mary Kay MK High Intensity Cologne. All right. 
There you go for that one. All right, I'm going to turn it over to Christine, who's going to share about Enchanted Wish and High Intensity Ocean. Okay. Well, since we are still talking about high intensity, I'm going to start with the high intensity ocean. For the man who likes the sea, the fresh ocean smell of the sea, and is inspired by the horizon, this is the fragrance for him. It is energized by the freedom of open waters and the sweep of the blue sky. Take a deep breath and dive in. This intensity ocean is an invigorating scent created for his every adventure. The top notes of the first wave get swept away with the fresh, clean top notes of sea mist Acord, Italian bergamot, green mandarin, juniper berry, and ginger spices. Dive into the heart of the fragrance with the masculine rush of nutmeg, geranium, and water fruits. And deep dive into the bottom notes of oak, moss, white amber, and the warmth of this invigorating scent will leave him breathless. And this retails for 38. High intensity ocean. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about the perfume. This one retails for 42. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's get to my favorite, Enchanted Wishes. Isn't this a gorgeous bottle? Just close your eyes and be swept away with the fantasy of enchanted wishes. Wish and an instant be transported to a far away place, a fairy tale fantasy where enchantment is all around you. A truly magical world where dreams are born and wishes do come true. The fantasy begins, first of all, with a crisp, fruity burst of Granny Smith apples. And who doesn't love Granny Smith apples? First impression, Granny Smith apples, orange oil, Brazil, and white pineapple intertwined with candied petals. At the heart of the note is the stargazer lily that awakens the senses all around you. Peony and zone of fresh passion fruit. And at the very bottom note, we find brown sugar, which enchants and delights with a warm finish that tells you your wish is on the way. The lasting impressions of brown sugar, warm amber, and illuminating musk. And this retails for 38. Thank you. Hi. Oh my gosh. Thank I mean, you. like, was that just a commercial or what? <laughs> oh, and the pulse. Oh, the application, you want to put it on your pulse points, your wrist, your elbow, the neck area, the back of the knee. This is considered an Edilor toilet. A toilet, okay. So we had our eau de parfum mm -hmm. and we had our eau de toilet. That was good, dang. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sign me up. <laughs> this is my favorite scent. That is her favorite scent. Well, let me jump back to the um, ocean and tell you that that is one of our most popular men's fragrances, that citrus marine fragrance for men. And if you are a guy or your guy likes uh, Digio, Aqua Digio, Chrome or Polo Blue, he will love the citrus, the um, 
high intensity relationship. And if you are a woman that loves the um, floral fruity scent of Enchanted Wish, then you like Coach Poppy, Viva La Juicy Couture, um, Dot by Mark Jacobs or Taylor Swift, Wonderstruck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff there. Interesting yeah. stuff. All right. Well, Terrilyn, you are on tap, my dear. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Yes, you are going to be sharing Valera <laughs> and True Original. Look at that. So this is our Bellera. All this time I've been calling it Ballara. This is the bottle. <laughs> it's my favorite color in the whole world. Look at that purple with that deep aqua teal coming down. Look at that slender bottle. I mean, who would not want this? This is Valara. It's a musky floral. It's perf It's for a perfectly balanced sheer fragrance that fits the perfectly balanced woman. The top notes, San, oh, San Joaquin fig, wild bilberry, opal lotus flower. These last from 15 minutes, the top notes. Then we get to the middle, stargazer lily, southern Indian tuberose, snowdrop flower, chamomile petal, golden acacia blossoms. I'm not sure if I said some of those right, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and the bottom, oh, the middle, sorry, that lasts about 20 minutes. You can smell that after about 15 minutes that you've already applied this. And then the bottom. Note, white poplar bark, milky sandalwood, and cotton musk. Oh, my goodness. This is one of my favorites from way back. I can't tell you. When Ballara was introduced, I'm telling you, it, it's practically sold out for us. Couldn't even get our hands on it. Now, what you need to know about it is that the top note is the initial impact of the fragrance, right? It introduces the fragrance that lasts up to about 15 minutes. The middle note, as Tracy has already said, is the heart of the fragrance. It folds and develops into a few minutes after the perfume is applied to the skin. They appear after the top notes disappear and can last throughout the whole fragrance experience. So this, of course, and the bottom note is the final impression. It also is the most lasting several hours after the fragrance is applied. And this is an Eau du Parfum. This retails for $38. Mm, look at that. Mm. Now, for our men, let me just tell you about the men. My husband loves this. I don't know why. I, um, I got this one, but he loves this true original. Look at that. Silvery slick black. Isn't that masculine? Look at that. That is the fragrance. And then you just push it out like this. Ooh, let me look at that. He can't wait to get his hands on this. And when he puts this on, you can't wait to get your hands on him. <laughs> <laughs> this fragrance, oh, excuse me. This is a, yes, this is a men's fragrance, right? The unique cap sleeve releases the bottle inside with a push of the top, perfectly protecting it when traveling or carrying it in a gym bag, which is what my husband used to do before the pandemic. The middle notes, I'm sorry, the top notes, citrus lemon and clean Fuji apple. Mm. The middle notes, temporary amber and cedar wood. And the bottom notes, sensual, I don't know about that one, patchouli. Mm -hmm. Tracy, you know that's saying? right, patchouli, that's it. That's it, patchouli, you're right. And if you're looking for it in a basket, here you go. That's mm. what it looks like, all set up nice 
He will love you, girl, forever. <laughs> All you need is one of those. And this, of course, retails for, uh oh, I thought I wrote it. I think it's 38, 36, right? I think it's 36. But this is something wonderful, I'm telling you. You can't wait to have this. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. And then, um, if your consultant was lucky enough to be able to uh, get it, get the um, men's duo shower gel, the true, uh, the company offered the true in the shower gel this season, as well as the ocean. Um, yeah. So you should get those and split them up or pair them with those two fragrances to give as a gift. Get excited. Yes. Get excited. Um, definitely. So let me tell you what other fragrances would be similar to those. So if you like um, Valera, that's the creamy floral, you like Ralph Lauren Blue or Glow. Um, and if you like true original that aromatic frogreer fragrance that is very common that uh contemporary set is very common in polo blue uh ysl polo black eternity for men euphoria for men versace um yeah. eternity and lacoste essential that's why your husband like it it's very it's a very popular a uh, blend of fragrances um, mm -hmm. in the men's line. So I did not know that. I need to take a whiff of that. My, let me take a whiff. I got, I got my own bottle right here. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I like. Hmm. That's that's some good stuff right there. Yeah, I'm gonna be that. praying for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna have a choice. I can see y'all putting this on. Let me put this out. Here. Let me put this out. Here. Put this out here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that bottle of this. Oh my god, okay. that's what I'm talking about. Woo, girl, you right about that one. That's mm -hmm. a sleeper. I was not in. Yeah. That's a sleeper right there. All mm -hmm. right, Janet, you up. It's your turn, honey. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you real quick for the men that's gonna be watching this lady, y'all need to pay, they pay attention to these women and how they act about these fragrances. Because like, you, you might want to get it because your wife might be acting the same. Oh, yeah, way. Oh, yeah. I'm just well, you saying, know I, got, I, got I, video, know. I got a video to play as soon as we're done you know, about these men's fragrances. Just a little yeah. something, some men, y'all need to check that out because I'm just like, mm. they sounded yeah. like, okay, baby, I'm gonna get you this fragrance and it's gonna be on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly yeah, what y'all sound like. like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a few more to go. And Janet, you are up next, my dear. You're going to be sharing about thinking of you and Forever Diamonds. Mm. Well, I'm going to do them reverse because I want Tracy okay. to do the thinking of you box. So I'm going to start about the, the Forever Diamonds, about fragrance, about what I like. My fragrances, I like fragrance that are a woodsy floral. And I like fragrances that are oriental or light oriental. That's my favorite. I like citruses too, but I really have certain things. But this is an embrace every moment fragrance, ladies. Embrace every moment. And what's interesting about this um, fragrance, it was designed to celebrate all of the special moments in a woman's life. Forever Diamonds, it opens with... Um, joy and new beginnings. It's memories that are made that shine like a diamond forever, forever, and forever. So this is for the woman who embraces life and let herself sparkle within it. I will tell you, it has a radiant beginning. It begins with the joyful scent of happiness and opening notes of sparkling golden peach over delicate jasmine petals and exuberant diamond orchid. The story continues at its heart, the freshness of tuberose is revealed as delicate hits of helotrope and delicious apricot surprise and delight. And the memories last with a creamy vanilla bean and a warm white amber. Celebrate your inner radiance and turn every day into a moment of 
celebration. That's right. the one. Mm. Then the next one, you saw the thinking of love. We also have a thinking of you. It's a thinking of you. Every woman that knows that relationships are what make the make life meaningful and complete. So tell someone how much they mean to you with the gift of thinking of you. It's a perfect gift type of fragrance. And it's an eau de perfume because there's no time like the present to turn every moment into a memory. This has a keepsake charm that clips off. So you can add the charm to a charm bracelet or necklace. Now, real quick, the top notes of Fruity Florento Fragrance convey the feeling of joy and happiness with sparkling mandarin, succulent white peach, and juicy plum. Mid notes inspired by the power of love, family, and joy of friendship include creamy jasmine, pink honeysuckle, and lily of the valley. The bottom note of warm tonka van vanilla, absolute sugared patchouli, and soft musk round out the scent, conveying lasting memories of warmth and universal beauty. A little hint, ladies. I don't know whether or not you grew up where you would squint the first and go like this. You don't want to do that because when you do that, you're crushing the top note. What mm. you want to do is just spray your fragrance and give it a few minutes to develop. So now, Tracy, if do you have the box, Tracy? I do. I do have the box. Okay. So spotlight right. yourself. I'm going to tell you what to do with the box. Okay, spotlight and myself. Oh, yes, because the box is a major part of the experience of this particular fragrance. You're not spotlighted yet. I uh, know. I'm sorry. <laughs> the um, the uh, oh, the um, live stream is right on top of my little spot to spotlight myself. But I got it. Who I am? Okay. So now I would like for you to take the box apart. Okay. Okay. Pull up the top. Now notice you can put the box. You can put it down now. And keep the top. Open mm -hmm. the top up, Tracy. Just open it up. It folds open. And reveal the inside. There is a place for you to put your own personal note to whoever you're giving this gift to. And that's just such a special, special <laughs> gift to do. So Shut up. And you know what? I am going to um, do you have do you have the thinking of love box also? I do. Hey, pull up I, I the thinking of love box. Open okay. Up the, uh, you, you got me running now. You gonna make me go run? Okay. Pull it open. You got it. You you pull it <laughs> open. Hold on. I got. I have to run again. Oh, you, you can start like me. I have it. I have mine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Good. So the thinking of love, it has inside the box, a little card for you to pull out and for you to write whatever special sentiments you want to write to the person that you're giving this gift to. Just a little something, something. So oh, the thinking of you, nice. thinking of you retails for thirty-two, and the Forever Diamond retails for forty. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. And let me tell you what those two fragrances are like. So the Forever Diamonds, which is the floral fruity, it is similar to Beautiful. You know that's why I like that fragrance because I used to love Beautiful back in the day. I sure did. That was my. That was one of my go to so beautiful by Estee Lauder, Pleasure by Estee Lauder, J'adore, Mark Jacobs Daisy, Mark Jacobs Dot, DKNY by Delicious and Daisy Dream. Those are similar to the Forever Diamonds Eau de Parfum. And then the Thinking of You uh, is similar to Belong by Celine Dion, Ted Lapidus. Silk Way and Victoria's Secrets Dream Angels Wish, and it is a fruity florental, so it's like a floral and an oriental scent together. So they call that a florental, and that is the thinking of you fragrance. All right, very interesting, very interesting. Okay, my turn again before we end with the bomb diggity bomb that everybody can't wait to talk about, but. <laughs> 
I'm going to share with you about um, our domain. And domain has uh, is the um, fragrance that has been in our product line uh, the longest right now for our men's line. It is definitely for the rugged guy in your life. And um, I love the bottle because it's just it just looks like that rugged type man that you know that Timberland and wife feeder type guy. <laughs> Okay, and um, this particular fragrance wrap him in the scent of earth and home with domain cologne. He's a breath of fresh air, and so is this blend of lavender and oak musk. Okay, so this particular product, the uh, bottom notes are cherry firewood, blonde cedar, pipe tobacco. Uh, patchouli wood, palm tree wood, and black vanilla bean and musk. And then the mid-tone, juniper berry, night blooming cactus, birds of paradise, garden basil, tarragon, ice mint, cypress, citrus, excuse me, cypress leaves, green bamboo shoots. And then the top note, zesty lime tonic, crisp Macintosh, white grapefruit, desert sage, tangerine, cognac grapes, and lavender. Most men wear fragrances as the ultimate accessory, a finishing touch like their cufflinks or a tie pin. Without it, the look is no longer complete. And so why not get your man that fragrance that is going to make him feel complete? And so if your guy likes anything like um, let's see. Domain is similar to Cool Water, Curve, Eternity, Polo Sport, Tommy, and Pleasures. See why it's our, our most popular, one of our most popular fragrances? Yes. So, and it retails for 38 for that special guy. All right. So, and last but not least, we have two more fragrances to share. And um, I'm going to show you guys a little video. Um, but bringing up the rear to talk about our newest fragrance that just launched um, for ladies uh, last month is Juanita. She's going to share about high intensity sport and about our newest fragrance, Illuminati. No, excuse me, that's not right. No. Illuminaya. Illuminaya. Thank you. Illuminaya. Hold on, I'm trying to unspotlight myself. Give me a skit because this, there I am. Here we go. I'm having some challenges tonight, y'all. Please forgive me. There she is, the beautiful Juanita. You ready, girl? Come on, bring it, bring it on home. Bring it on home for us. All right. Hey, Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I get the opportunity to talk to you guys. Uh -oh. All right. I get the opportunity to talk to you about first, I'm going to start out with the men's fragrance that I so love. And that is the high intensity sport. You guys see that? That mm -hmm. is awesome. Okay. Now, some dream it, you live it when you wear the high intensity for men. Is your man a risk taker? Always looking for a new adventure? He's rugged, a competitor who loves a good challenge. He's daring. Fear is nowhere in his vocabulary. He's driven, always pushes through any obstacle. He's extreme, living life on the edge. He's bold and lives each day his way. Now, the way this actually works, you apply it generously all over the body. Okay, and the biggest note here that the top note is the gin berry. You have the icy bergamot are cut with a shot of liquid oxygen accord. You have the fresh middle note as a cool cardamom, crushed mint leaf, and violet pepper. And then the bottom note is the wild birch bark and amber. I'm telling you, this fragrance here smells divine. I've actually had my neighbor spritz it on one wrist and he tried the other MK 
um, high intensity on the other wrist, and he ended up buying both. They smell very nice. It also has a wonderful, in this basket, I have the actual, right here to the left, the actual body wash. I think the body wash or the cream, I think that's what that is. It's a body wash. Yeah, that's the actual body wash. Yeah, that's the body wash. But if you look at the very top here, I have the other high intensity one that can go with it. And it smells so good. As soon as he spritz this on his wrist, on his pulse point, as well as back of the knee. And let's not forget the ankle. Yeah, you could put it on the ankle. It rises from the bottom to the top. It smells so good. So that's my men's favorite. Now, the next one, I simply, absolutely adore. And this is the brand new fragrance for this winter, this Christmas, this everything. And I bought enough of it for me, maybe some for my customers too, but I love this. I'm absolutely in love with it. This is called Illumine has the notes of inspiration. First, there's a spark. You feel inspired, you're uplifted. It has the notes of a nice soft mandarin, a nice pink pepper, and a fresh morning dew. It also grows, that grows into a flame. The scent blooms luminously. It has a very nice floral blend of red apricot, orange blossom, and it has garlic peony, water lotus, and a very beautiful scent of honeysuckle. You also get to deliver an enduring heartfelt finish. So to top it, it displays an eternal warmth with a rich notes of Florentine, int absolute, violet leaves, cashmere, woods, a deep vanilla and white moss. Now, you think it's enough that you got the perfume, but oh, it doesn't stop there. They actually decided in Mary Kay to have it go also with this awesome body souffle. Let me tell you, this souffle feels, smells, and it actually, oh my God, it goes on like butter. I mean, this is my all-time favorite. You wrap yourself up in this fine fragrance and it goes with you for the rest of the day. There's no reapplying necessary. It's like you can be walking somewhere and you go back, oh, wow, I still smell like Illumine. If you receive your latest catalog in the mail, you should see this cute little sample right here of this actually awesome mm -hmm. perfume. You see, how, you see how it's paired with the body souffle? Mm -hmm. So you want to pair this together. The actual perfume retails at the high end of $70. And the actual body souffle, that one retails at 30. Let me see if I can show you this one. So this might be mine. Oh, see, I'm almost done. This, this smells so good. Oh my God. Forget about Bath and Body Works. Just go to your consultant right now and buy all of them that they got in stock. Trust me, it smells really good. That's all. <laughs> so can you speak for a minute about the concentration? Because this is a true uh, oh, parfum, um, right? The concentration. Uh-oh, we lost you for a second. Okay. Are you there? I'm still here. Yep. Okay, sorry. You were kind of fading in and out. I don't know if that was me, but go ahead. Okay. The actual body, I will tell you, you put that on first, 
And let me just tell you, when you, um, I know what you're using as far as your body wash, but you want to use something that's really light, not over, over powerful, like a Dove body wash or something very light. And then apply this because it's already intense and heavy on its yes. own. But so once it, it has, hits the skin, it's like butter. It has 40%. And then it's like an added, it's like saying, go ahead. It has 40% of actual oil, 40% of the actual oil. So it is an extract de parfum, which is the highest concentration of fragrance oils and is considered the longest lasting mm -hmm. form of fragrance. So in the fragrance family, it, it is, is on the far end spectrum of having the highest concentration of actual fragrant oils in it. So it's going to stay with you like 12 yes, hours. <laughs> yes. I I'm, I'm yes. just in love with it. I told Tracy, I'm like, I, I'm sorry. I just love it. So everyone is in love with this particular fragrance. Yes. Thank you, Juanita. <laughs> and let me just tell you, ladies and or gentlemen, if you like, um, let me, which one did you do first? You did high intensity sport. Is that what you did? Yes. That is like yes. for men, for the guys, it's like blue by Chanel or Dol Dolce & Gabbana light blue. OK, those are two of the fragrances that uh, are similar to that Ambry Oriental um, sport. And then for um, the Illuminea, it is similar to Poison by Christian Dior Rosso um, by Story Benazane. And let's see, Flower Bomb. Oh, well, I know I'm going to love it because I love Flower, Flower Bomb <laughs> by Victor and Rolf. That's my that's my my uh, my guilty pleasure. That's not Mary Kay. So I am going to love this. I haven't used this Illuminea, but um, I know now that I'm going to love it. And then um, yes. Angel um, fragrance as well. So there you go. That is our um, fragrance line. Um, I have a I video. Have on time, Tracy? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Tashana was talking about the cityscape. Mm -hmm. And that cityscape for men, that's the bomb.com as well. Mm -hmm. Because I had a gentleman and his fiance walk past one of my booths about four years ago. I think it was four years ago. And she saw it and she just walked right past. But I called him over. I said, spray this on your wrist and I bet you you'll be back. <laughs> he went over there to, yeah. he smelled it. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be back. And so she smelled it. And about 10 minutes later, she came running back asking for a set. So mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that cityscape smells really good too. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yes, but I, like I did not mention that the cityscape is similar to Polo Black, higher by Dior, Prada, and Gucci. Mm -hmm. um, that is what that fragrance is similar to for our guys. So let me share with you all this um, amazing video for our men's fragrance. Ladies, we're going to end on this note. And a good note. Um, it's a good note. It's a good note. And it's quite enjoyable um, just to kind of give an overview of the men's fragrances. Here you go for a wonderful experience. Mary Kay Men's Skincare Line and Cologne. We have one for every type of man in your life. Domain Cologne Spray. This is for your rugged guy who's serious about his business. It features a contemporary blend of outdoor notes. Its scent is like a breath of fresh air. The top notes of Chris McIntosh and Desert Sage. Middle notes Juniper Berry and Ice Mint with bottom notes Black Vanilla Bean and Musk. MK High intensity sport cologne spray. Some dream it, you live it. This is for our college preppy guy, our younger brothers. This fresh and invigorating fragrance stimulates the senses with an icy and adventurous scent. MK high intensity cologne spray. This is for the soup and tie guy. This is for the office, for the corporate man, not overpowering. This cologne spray is in the every oriental fragrance family. It demands attention with the Royal King Wood, a Mary Kay exclusive ingredient.
free men that brings rich intensity to the men's life. MK High Intensity Ocean Cologne Spray. This is what we call Baywatch. Can you imagine your man running out of the water on the beach? Water glistening down his body. This, this cologne is for him. A fresh citrus marine fragrance for the active man who loves the sea. Top notes, sea mist accord. Green Mandarin, Juniper Berry. True original cologne spray. This is what we call fresh out of the shower. <laughs> mm -hmm. A fresh clean scent of the truly original mint. It's a clean and contemporary fragrance with top note citrus lemon and clean Fuji. And this is my favorite city state cologne spray. We call all this, watch your man. Ladies, when he wears this fragrance, it is guaranteed we will compliment him everywhere he goes. Matter of fact, he should only wear this when he's at home with you. Ladies, watch your man. This is a refined masculine scent that speaks to a man's sense of elegance and simple sophistication. The top notes are Italian bergamot and French lavender. Let your man know. Just how much you love him by purchasing MK Men's skincare and cologne fragrances. Thank, Thank you so much. That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. That was a, that was a great point. Was oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right, lady. Somebody had a question. Somebody had a question. Somebody had a question. Yes. Do you ever have a fragrance for men that women oh, prefer to wear? Oh. City skate. I don't think so. City skate. City That's skate. what I was going to say. So they kind of comparable, but they very still, a still very the uh, women will put on a very small or really light dusting mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. But it has uh -huh. that kind of it has that kind of scent. You know, it's it's that kind of scent. You know, the kind of scent when you want to hug the man and you want to keep his fragrance yes. when you go somewhere. That's that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. that kind of scent. Like hug him. Yeah. yeah. Let me tr let me let me take him with me wherever I go. <laughs> that, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're gonna do one no drawing. I have the wheel of names up, and I have. We didn't have too many people commenting tonight. It was just Diane and Pearl and Izzy mostly. So I have the wheel of names. I'm gonna do one spin of the wheel, and uh, so I have added your name to the wheel every time that you made a comment. Y'all see it here? And we're going to go ahead and spin this wheel. And you're going to win a prize from your consultant. Let's see who's going to get it. All right, it's Pearl. Well, that means, honey, that we got to get together. I got to connect with you to get you your um to get you your prize. So most definitely, ma'am. Um, let me get your address. And uh, thanks for joining everybody tonight. Next week we will be doing holiday glam. So invite your girlfriends. Bring your um, color looks. Um, reach out to your consultant ahead of time and ask her if you, there's something specific that you want to see. And, um, but that's what we'll be doing. Holiday glam, lashes mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to do it, ladies. We ain't going nowhere, but we're going to get all dressed up. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Give it a shot. Saturday night. This will be the last Saturday before the new year. So, um, okay. For, yeah, the last yeah. Saturday before Christmas. The following no, week will be the day after Christmas, and the following week after that will be the day after New Year's. So we will be, uh, be our last event for the calendar year, and then we will start afresh with a new year and a new you. All so right. bring your friends, one and all. 
we're going to get on on uh, StreamYard and talk about holiday glam and do it all up. So thank you all for joining tonight. Yes, um, thank we'll you. See you, hopefully we'll see you next week with, the, with somebody. And have a great evening. Have and Pearl, time. I will reach out to you so I can get you your gift. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> you don't need help. You don't need help. You don't need some help. We need to get out. That's what we need. Right. <laughs> Roll that video again. I know that's right. I know that's right. Was that no,